Fishing Freaks, today we're looking at a product that's gonna allow us to stay in the great outdoors possibly forever. My wife's probably not gonna like this, but I think you guys are. Stay tuned. Okay, so I normally don't do videos that are based around a product sponsor, but today's video is sponsored by Blue Eddy, and I'm basing my video on this thing because I think it's gonna be a game changer for me. And not just for me, but I know there's a lot of you out there that have campers, that have bass boats, that like to camp. Maybe you have some remote locations, maybe you're a contractor. There's, there's a lot of uses for what I'm gonna show you here, so let's get into it. So I'm talking about the Blue Eddy AC240, which is a product they just launched. And I've actually done a video using one of their things before, what their power stations, it was the AC180, which is awesome and I still use it a lot. But one of the things that I, I was missing with it was being able to charge my boat fully. I just said to them, if, if you guys ever have like a bigger unit that will allow me to recharge my boat remotely, like when I'm out in the middle of nowhere, I am all over it. And that is what we are going to be testing here today. And before I go any further, I just wanna let you guys know they are offering a discount on these. You can use my code. There's actually a couple links you can buy direct from them or off Amazon. It's linked down below. If you're interested in one of these, this is a good time to pick one up. You can use uh, the codes, the links that are down below to pick one up. So another thing that makes this power station really useful is that it's, it's very outdoor capable. So highly water resistant, and it also will handle large loads. I'm talking 20, it's sustained loads at 2,400 watts. I'm not really gonna get into the technical weeds on this. I'm gonna give you guys practical applications and show you what it can do. So let's get into it. Buddy, why are you wearing a jacket? Yeah. It's hot outside. No. No? I'm about to crank on the AC in the camper. Hang on just a second, we gotta get a swing in. All right, buddy. Get on. Here you go. Ready? One, two, three. All right, let's go. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to torture test the AC240 with a, a large power surge by running the camper AC. To be honest with you, I don't even know if this is going to handle it. <laughs> it does have a, a power lifting mode that I can switch on via Bluetooth on my phone app, and I, I, can, I think I can get this thing going. I just don't know how long it, it's gonna last. Power on. All right, let's kick on AC. Okay, and I can see that it is putting power into the campers. So let's go inside and let's uh, take a little bit closer look at what's going on here. Uh, actually, let's go fan first of all. Okay, fan is coming on. You guys can hear it. Actually, well, I wanna see how much power is being pulled out of there. So I'm gonna peek over there and see how many watts are coming out with just the fan. I'm actually surprised that just the fan is pulling that many watts. So I don't know if this is going to, uh, if this is gonna hold. This might, this might blow the entire system if I cut the AC on. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, AC is kicking on. You can hear it. I'm starting to feel it. That has got to be drawing some power, guys. Let's go see what it's doing. So the unit is saying that it's pulling a little over a thousand watts. Maybe that's correct, but that's on low. So if, it, if I pump this thing up to high, it's really gonna zap some juice. I'm gonna let it run for five, 10 minutes and just see how much it's going to drain this battery.
it has it has definitely put out enough power to cool it down in here you know we're probably around 92 degrees outside right now so that's not bad but coming off the lake you got your camper coming back from a hike cool it down before you open up the windows at night and it really cools down that's pretty awesome so I wasn't expecting that now I'm gonna actually let it run for another five ten minutes and really let that power drain down and then I want to see if we can get the power back up uh, with the solar panel which I highly recommend getting a solar panel because my biggest problem is that when I go and fish in a remote place and I take my big boat the silver bullet I can't recharge it I'm looking for the infinite loop of dangle infinite loop of hunting not having to go to a hotel not having to go in and you know charge your stuff that you need to charge or operate the things that you uh you want to have those little extra luxuries or just basic functional things tools grills all the above that i can take this power system with me and never stop this thing's pretty impressive so far drained it down to 75 yeah, percent that's good enough so Let's put some sawn on it and see what we can put back in. So we are out on the water now. We are in my element. And this is where the this power station I'm really wanting to test out. A real life scenario of me going out fishing draining my my boat batteries and then I'm having to come back and charge so here's the scenario that I'm excited about is this is most likely gonna stay in the truck now this is a heavy unit you know it's obviously not too heavy where I can I can put it in the boat and all that but more practically I'm gonna leave this this is gonna be my truck camping thing it stays in my truck bed I've got a truck cap on my truck and I'm gonna take the solar panel and I'll show you guys here in a second. I'm gonna put it on top and let power come through while I'm fishing to recharge this. And then I just come back to power. So it's, it's always getting power. You could also use um, your, your DC ports, your cigarette lighter plugs in your trucks while you're traveling to recharge. The other way is going to be through AC, plugging into an AC outlet and, and charging that way. And that's like when you're at home, you got power, you're getting ready for a trip. But on the road, you've got your cigarette lighter plug and you got solar. And they've got these really nice uh, plugs that makes every, everything secure and easy to identify. But also, supposedly, this thing is quite water resistant. And uh, we're gonna take our little buddy for a ride here today in some waves and see how it does. We've also got very overcast conditions. These are not the best solar conditions. So I wanna see if it will go from 75%, if we can get it back up to like 85, 95, that'll be pretty good on an overcast day with a four or five hour uh, fishing time. I'm putting a load on this. Let's say this was in my truck. I'm keeping things refrigerated while I'm on the road, my meats and you know all that kind of stuff. And then I'm gonna put solar power onto it and hopefully we're gaining power and not losing power through through using the refrigerator. So right here in this nice little carrying case is our solar panel. And I believe this one is over 300 watts. So it's quite a bit. 100, oh, 200, 235. The sun is coming out right now. 250, that's quite a bit. So let's put our little Blue Eddy friend in the seat right here and see if it minds getting wet. All right, let's see how he likes some 20 mile an hour crosswinds in the face. Trimmed all the way down, just splashing. So I'm still working out kinks and little things in my boat, figuring out, learning it. And what I have learned is that when you get this boat on pad and you trim it all the way down, 
you basically just create a water park. That's what's going on. Trimmed all the way down. When you got wind, any kind of wind, the nose of this boat, I mean, it's just flat up there and that water is just hitting the sides and it goes wha-bam right into the grill. And in this case, my passenger, Mr. Blue, he got smacked in the face. He got, he got it all over basically. When you trim it up, poop, just goes away. I got uh, I got the blue eddy all wet. Everything's still working. It's actually come up um, another two percent in power, which is this thing's cranking, guys. I mean, we're going to be at eighty percent before we know it. We might even get to a hundred percent here in just a couple hours. Of course, being in Texas, late spring going into summer, it's going to rain. We got rain coming in. No worries though. This is going to dramatically reduce the amount of power we're putting in on the solar. We're only getting 40 watts in on solar right now. We, uh, we were up to 308 just 10 minutes ago, but we are at 86%. Drop easy. Drop easy in the rain. Gosh. There we go. Oh, it's a bass. Little crappies. Micro crop king right now. My gosh. Just fiddling around, catching little crappies, having a good time. But we've been out here a couple hours. So this is kind of a microcosm of what would be happening on a full day, but we've almost got 20% on our battery. We got 92% on our battery, and I purposely didn't charge my boat last time I went out, so we got two trips. We got a, a basically a full day, and then you know a, a quarter day right here, basically. So let's take it back to the house. Let's plug it into the charge. Actually, we don't even have to go back to the house. We can start charging literally right here. Okay y'all, we're back at the Casa. Now let's just imagine we're camping. We're at, our, we're at our lake, we're at a park. We don't have AC power. We're just sitting here in our camping area. My driveway kind of is like a camping area, quite honestly. But we've got our power right here. So I'm gonna cut the unit on. We're gonna open up our hatch. We're gonna pull out our charging cord for our three bank. Okay, we're gonna plug it in here. And then let's go ahead and hit AC and the unit's gonna power on. Now I've, I've already tested this before so I know what it will handle the load. Kicking on 500 watts right now. So let's put a timer on this and let's see how long it's gonna take for it to charge these batteries up. So if we look right here, we can see that everything is charging. So when those turn green, we're gonna be done. So in about three hours, our battery charger has charged our boat batteries full using the, the power from the Blue Eddy. And we took down around 30% of our battery life. It was actually 32%. Uh, I'm not sure when it started the trickle charge, but it was just recently. My batteries weren't all the way dead. I'm gonna say that was probably they were probably like 60% or so. That was two trips out there, short trips. But we started the day running the AC in the camper, then going out on the lake, running the refrigerator, 
then charging the batteries and we were inputting solar and we had overcast and rain and in a couple of hours we were able to to pop back up to 92 percent so i'm extrapolating here but i think a full day of fishing obviously we're going to drain more of the boat batteries but we're going to get a lot more recharge on solar with this uh what this does for me is it solves my remote fishing equation thinking about the possibilities here it's it's pretty much unstoppable fishing like i'm going to put this into my truck this is going to power things in my truck like a refrigerator um I haven't got one of those portable AC units yet. I don't know if you guys have seen those, but this would be an amazing thing to pair with that to power it. Um, put it with a pellet grill, all sorts of things that are, you think about when you're going truck camping, plus being able to charge the boat. That's the biggest thing for me, being able to charge that boat. Because a lot of times I'll go to a place that has camping areas, they have power, but the, all the camping spots are taken up by, by campers that have to plug in. Uh, to shore power or I just want to be kind of by myself you know and just enjoy a little bit more quiet so this enables me to do that and if I was just gonna have a buck wild idea just to buy a piece of land in the middle of nowhere and put a shack there this is what I'd power it with right here uh, this would be the easiest thing so if you've been tossing around the idea of getting something like this the links will be listed down below there's an Amazon link and then also a direct link to their website and I'm really glad that Blue Eddie reached out to me because I, I was wanting something like this. So super happy now, now that I got it and I get to keep it. Now, speaking of powering the boat, if you guys are interested in this type of stuff, I'm going to actually repower the boat uh, in the next couple videos, one of them. I, I'm going to basically change over to lithium. I'm putting a new type of charger in and I'm gonna put something in a bass boat that I don't think anyone, uh, at least that I know of, has ever put in there. That's gonna be really cool to follow, to see, to, to monitor everything. So you guys stay tuned for that. And I hope you're catching, hope you're snatching. I hope the crappie that you're catching are bigger than the ones I caught today. Dad, go. Tight lines and big sniffs, fishing freaks. We'll see you back in the outdoors on the next one.